Welcome to the Money, Mindset and Miracles podcast, helping you to grow a predictable and scalable month of high income from your business as gracefully as possible. I'm Rachel Smith, business coach, mindset expert and the founder of Momentum Mastermind, your 90 day sprint to scaling your business to 5k. Join me every week as I dive into the tips, inspirational stories and strategies that are going to support you on your journey to growing your your awesome business. I am delighted that you are joining me on this five-day transformational journey where we're going to be resetting your money mindset. Why is that so important? I hear you ask. It's likely that you have heard about money mindset from a number of different places, but you don't really know how to get started with it. So let's just like step back from our intention of working on our money mindset And first of all, get really clear about why you would even give up your precious time to work on this. The reality is, is that everything is energy. And when you're looking to step up in your business, when you're looking to make more money in your business from doing the things that you love and being paid your true value, it can feel incredibly challenging for you if you have some limiting beliefs or you have a money story around money. So if you have a limiting belief around money, around earning more money. And I wrote about this in um, last week's blog, and I'll post that below in the show notes so you can go and have a look at this. But there's kind of seven limiting beliefs that women have around making more money. The biggest one is uh, that you've got to work harder to earn more money. And for many women who are already really busy, the idea of working harder actually becomes an unconscious limiting belief that making more money is not available to you because you actually don't have any more hours in the day. So you can begin to see that how your money stories, how your limiting beliefs around money can start to impact on how you show up in your business. Perhaps you've had some knockback in business, perhaps launches haven't gone particularly well, or you've had you've made investments in courses or coaches. And actually, they've not turned out to be the right thing for you. And it's actually knocked your confidence, maybe with the online world. Maybe it's knocked your confidence around uh, whether or not you can make more money. And what I want to do with this five day challenge is to give you the opportunity to just spend five minutes every day listening to this content and then five minutes afterwards, actually working through a really simple exercise that's going to help you to reset your mindset. And you can come back to this challenge every single time that you need to go through a process of stepping up into the next income level. So that's what we want for you. So day one is going to be around your money story. You may have done this work before. If you've been around in my world for a little while, You may have even done it with me, but it's always worth going back to this. I'm a certified NLP practitioner. One of the things that we believe to be true is that our limiting beliefs, our stories that we hold on to, they can be released, they can be worked on, but it's like emptying a bag of rubbish is that, you know, over time, those limiting beliefs and the things that happen in your life that have an impact on your ability to feel abundant and to be in that place of plenty and not lack is that 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 kind of bag of uh, limiting beliefs fills up again. So if you have worked on your money mindset and you're like, why do I need to do it again? This is the reason why you need to empty out that bag. You need a reset. And that's exactly what we're going to, to do today. If this is the first time that you have worked on your money mindset, hey, that's great. I'm absolutely, I'm so proud of you for showing up and doing this work. Because for many women, talking about, thinking about working on money and asking for money can feel incredibly difficult. And I don't want that for you. I want for you to just see money as what it is. It's just energy. I want you having the confidence to just keep going out there and telling the world what you've got and creating more and more income in your business. Because at the end of the day, I can pretty much guarantee, even though I don't know many of you who are listening to this podcast that the money that you're looking to generate in your business through the things that you love to do are going to impact people in your lives positively. So the reason why you're calling money in is just for good things. And that's what we want in the world. We want the ability to choose to have more options, to have the ability to know that you can invest money in different areas or share your your wealth or to use 
your increased wealth to improve the life of yourself or the life of others. So that's the background. I don't want to talk about it too much. I do have a number of other podcasts and blog posts around money mindset, which I'll link in the show notes below. So go and take a look at those if you need some kind of more background information, if you're a person who likes a lot of details. Your first challenge today is to investigate your money story. So if you think about this money story being rooted within you, like roots of a tree, and then the roots are spreading throughout your body, and that whole system is around what you believe to be true about money. And what we're looking to do with this work is keep the things that are good, amazing, but those things that are holding you back, that are making you feel coming from a place of lack and fear, any of those things we want to give you the confidence to know that you can go forward and take those actions and be freaking amazing at it. So let's get into your money story. What is your money story? This is your earliest memory of when you were growing up. So from the age of seven below, what is your earliest memory around money? How were the people in your life? So your caregivers, how did they treat money? How did they talk about money? What did you learn from them about money? So you may need to just sit quietly and just go back to that place. If it helps, close your eyes, go back to your childhood, think about the earliest memory that you have about money. And what you're looking for is you're looking for the negative money story. So it might be that you think, oh, right, around six, I can remember um, suddenly being given pocket money, but there was a load of rules attached to it. That's great. You've got a memory around six. Just pull back a little bit and just think, right, was there anything else How was money spoken about when I was five or four or three? Did something significant happen around that time that changed your money situation as a family? And what I want for you to do is write out your earliest memories about money and all of the negative beliefs and stories around money that you were exposed to as a young person. And that is your exercise for today. Now, you might be thinking, well, thanks, Rach. You've just left me in the place of real negativity. This five day reset is all about the kind of the pieces that fit together. So on day three, I'm going to help you to release those money stories. If you are over on Instagram, drop me a follow. Again, leave the details down the show notes. Let me know how you've got on with this one. Drop me a DM. I always personally respond to them. And I understand that when we start to look at our relationship with money, it can make us feel really vulnerable. And I want for you to know that the work that you are doing today is the work that I do. It's the work that my clients do when they're working with me on their own money mindset. So you are in a safe place. You know, I have years of experience of helping women to change, transform how they think and feel about money so that they can actually earn more money. And I can't wait for you to have that experience as well. Okay, until day two, bye for now.